Welcome back everyone. This is Thomas Triple T Tai with another new bullish crypto analysis. Before we dig in, remember this is for edutainment only and not to be considered as financial advice. And also, I would love it if you could help out by uh, help others and help spread my analysis by clicking on the uh, like, ring my bell, hit subscribe if you haven't and share your thoughts in the comment section. And the reason that helps is cuz it helps. <laughs> That's a lot of helps. The reason that helps spread the news to other people is that um, it helps the YouTube uh, YouTube algorithm, and so um, and it helps others because the analysis are pretty simple to understand, and um, I go I'm pretty consistent about them. So it gives people a sense of stability and also helps them make informed decisions. So with with that, let's uh, dive into the um, uh, what is it? The uh, the market uh, analysis, and this is just for the chart analysis, and we'll do the news after this. So two separate sections daily, oh, well weekdays. Uh, so let's dive in. This is the current crypto market heat map. Pretty blood red. Um, Bitcoin thirty seven six, down two point one three. Dominance forty two point two one. Ethereum uh, two point 8k down 2.54 dominance 19.66 uh luna is down in the low 80s 81 point some uh is it a3 and um we got a couple greens here you got uh, algo crow sand and gmt stable coin here uh, but yeah overall pretty red uh crypto market cap uh, it's it's pretty bad. <laughs> Money continues to flow out of crypto. Um, we're down to one point seven. Is that an eight or? Let's see. Hang on. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not an eight. It's one point seven zero trillion, and we haven't been down this um, this low in a in a bit. So one point seven zero is it's it's low. Um, I don't remember what day the last day that we broke below that um so but um yeah when we break into the 1.6 that's um that's that'll be concerning so uh down 1.92 percent uh for the whole market cap that's that's rough let's take a look at the um u.s equities uh, market here the heat map here uh technology Overall, uh, I see more muted green than muted red. Uh, we have some more bright spots of um, greens here too, but let's go through uh, each uh, sector here. We got technology. We got reds and muted red and some green, so it's mixing technology. Apple um, is up um, 0.96. Nvidia up 0.35. Microsoft down 0.95. It's it's a mixed bag. It's muted. Um, yeah, it's pretty muted. Communication services is uh, it's, it's also more green, more muted green than the um, than more uh, than muted red. It's a split. It's still a mix. Uh, you got Google point uh, point eight three. I mentioned that already. Verizon two point uh, up two point oh three. So it's like um, it's it's pretty muted. Let's just put it that way. Consumer silico, similar situation, but it leans more muted red up in um, the upper quadrant here in restaurants, home uh, improvement, but down here in auto manufacturer, uh, it's uh, it's more green. So that's probably the main sector that's mo mostly green in this uh, consumer silico. Uh, Tesla up 0 0.70, TM up 0 0.80, etc. Et Consumer or defensive. Also mix here. Walmart up uh, three uh, 0.35. Uh, Procter and Gamble down 1.37. Also mix here. Um, financial is looking really good today. We got um, specifically in uh, a cup. Well, overall, yeah, they look pretty healthy today. The only sub sector in financial that's uh, looking um, more red than green would be credit services. And um, but. You got bank, uh, banks diversify, banks region, regional, uh, asset management, capital market, etc. They're mostly green. Insurance is uh, it's mostly green too. 
over here in healthcare, pretty mixed here, but more muted red, it's slightly leaning more muted red. You get industrial, also mixed here. Real estate, more greens than red. Utilities, muted, mix, uh, basic materials, more greens than red here. Uh, energy is popping today though. It's a um, pretty bright green, probably uh, energy and uh, f um, banks diversified would be two top sectors today. So overall, it's kind of mixed, I would say. Let's take a look at the um, uh, trading view chart here. Uh, we'll go through the uh, watch list first. Uh, NASDAQ uh, composite index here, uh, up 0.11. SPX index, uh, up 0.48. DJI uh, index, we got uh, up 0.20. Uh, VIX volatility index finally dropped below 30 at 29.25. And that's down 6.5, what is it, 5 something, I can't see. No, VIX is down, not 6. 6 is the one number below that. It's down 9 point, uh, 9 point, 9.55. That's a big drop for VIX. So it's still in like 30, it's, it's, it's pretty volatile. So 29 is just below that, but... That's a big drop in volatility from yesterday. Dixie is down, uh, zero, what is it, um, to 103.48. And that's down, what is it, 0 0.12. U.S. 10-year yield, that's also down uh, roughly, uh, what is that, let me see here. 0 0.07 and at 2.98. And we'll look at the trends over here in a, in a bit. Uh, Let's take a look at oil. Oil is above 100 at 103.39, and that's down 1.5. Uh, five. Oh, I just changed. 1.49. Gold is up 0.21. Silver is down uh, 0 0.2 something. Excuse me. Uh, let's take a look at the currencies here. Um, Euro versus the dollar. Euro. It's about um, it's stronger than the dollar um, by it's up 0.17. The pound is up 0.03 against the dollar. The dollar is up 0.03 against the yen. So mi mixed bag there against those. Let's take a look at over here. Let's take a look at Bitcoin first. Just the overall trend. Uh, we'll dive into Bitcoin's individual daily analysis later on. Uh, in a different episode uh, but here you can see most of yesterday it's pretty much chopping sideways market open drops down and continues to drop here uh, dropping to its recent um, seven day low around that area here close to it let's take a look at the uh, nasdaq index um, trends here it's uh, it opened higher than uh, yesterday and then kind of pretty much went sideways me zoom back out so you can see yeah so you pretty much chop sideways that's why you see the up uh, percentage here and then uh, SPX a very similar situation um, open up higher and then chopping uh, chopping sideways the uh, the Dow index similar situation open up and chopping sideways but if you look at the where this period is it's in the middle range of the last seven day but on the, uh, yeah, and then same thing with uh, the SPX and the Dow. As far as negative, a positive correlation between NASDAQ SPX with Bitcoin, not really playing out there. Bitcoin, it's dropped um, a lot more than the uh, SP, uh, SPX and uh, NASDAQ. Let's take a look at the Dixie here. Uh, Dixie is still pretty much uh, hanging towards the upper end of its recent range, high range here. And um, let's take a look at the negative correlation against Bitcoin. So uh, hours before the market opened, Dixie dropped, Bitcoin dropped. So no, no negative correlation there. And then after the market opened, Dixie went up slightly and then went sideways. Bitcoin dropped. And then continue to drop. So it's a little bit after the market opened, there was a little bit of negative correlation there. So tiny bit. Uh, let's still look at the uh, U.S. 10-year yield here. U.S. 10-year yield uh, dropped uh, hours before the market opened and then uh, went back up, but not fully recovered from its um, 
yesterday's high yet. So what does this mean? Um, what does this mean? To me, it looks like a holding pattern. It looks like the market is kind of like holding and waiting for the FOMC meeting to be done tomorrow and whatever announcement comes out of that. I'm sure there won't be any surprises, um, more than likely, 50 basis point, and which is already priced in, but it looks like the market's waiting. Um, but Bitcoin is, is, uh, is selling, selling now. As far as Europe, uh, European market is concerned, uh, actually European and stock 600. Let's take a look at the UK 100. UK 100, um, you can see that yesterday it was down here and then um, current session it opened higher and then um, it's slightly trending up, a little bit of recovery, let me zoom back out. Yeah, so it's trending um, up uh, when the US market opened right here and it's just hanging, um, consolidating up there. On a seven day period, it's near its top range. For the DAX from Germany, so, um, hours before the U.S. market opened, it went down and then recovered after the U.S. market opened. Currently in the seven-day period, it's on the upper range uh, of its seven-day period. The CAC 440 uh, from France uh, dropped down, similar to the uh, DAX here, dropped down before the U.S. market opened, went up slightly, recovered, but not fully. And seven-day period, more on the upper half. I wouldn't say on the top. Uh, near the top, but it's more on the upper half. Like just, like if you take the middle and just move it slightly up, that's where it's at. The uh, SX, uh, SXP, stock 600. Here we have, um, again, similar to these two above here, it dropped before the U.S. market opened and then slightly re recovered on a seven-day period. Uh, it's also on the upper half, just, just past middle point slightly. Well, a little bit more than that. Yeah, more on the upper half. So uh, uh, here also, like overall, it's just it's a holding pattern. They're chopping sideways. Like, uh, what, you know, it's like, what's going to happen? Um, so mostly chopping sideways there, just waiting, except for the UK 100. Let's go to, over to uh, Australia and Asia. Uh, Australia is, um, you can see here, it open it's like uh pretty much sideways from its last trading period the current the current their, their market is closed but their most recent period compared to the one before that it's mostly chopping sideways but if you compare it to the seven day period it's more in the middle but it compared to the um like last three day period it's on a downtrend the uh, nikkei 225 in the last period it it um it recovered and uh, it's currently near the top range of its seven day period. Actually, uh, it's at the top range. KOSPI from South Korea, you can see here that in its last trading period, um, it traded high and then uh, wrapped up its the less, more than the second half, uh, the latter half of the uh, trading period on its downtrend. Overall, it's still on its uh, up uh, near its top from the seven day period. Similar, uh, similarly, uh, HSI from Hong Kong. This is the Hang, Sh uh, Hang Seng uh, Index. And you see that here. It's pretty, pretty much at the top range of a seven-day period. So, uh, K, uh, sorry, CSI 300 from uh, Shanghai. That index is, um, I think, it's, I don't know, they're closed. They, or they're not reporting or something's not right here. But they could be closed. Um, so I won't go through them. Overall, I, I, there's mixed results here. Mostly, markets are waiting for the FOMC meeting, in my opinion. And um, we got some recoveries. UK 100, you got some recoveries over here at, uh, at Hang Seng and uh, Nikkei two, uh, 225. Yeah, and um, Dixie just trending sideways. So... I'll keep an eye on Dixie though. Um, when Dixie makes a big move, that's uh, what you want to pay attention to. But right now, it's just go moving sideways mostly. And uh, that's about it for the um, chart analysis for the um, trends for the markets around the world. I appreciate your time. Please smash the like, ring my bell, hit subscribe if you haven't, so that um, and then leave comments in the uh, comment section and tell me what you're thinking. And that helps with uh, spreading the uh, the goodness to uh, 
other uh, investors and uh, beginners, especially beginners. I want to, I so much want to help them and not, um, and help them prevent them from getting wrecked or do uh, things that may not be in their best interest, like FOMO or something. All right. I'll see you in the next video for the um, macro news uh, coming up in a little bit. Peace.